Now, in this part, what we're going to do is I'm going to take and show you the, the next stage of drawing your cartoon character, which is going to be in lesson number three, where we take our basic spear shape here, and what we're going to do is we're going to add on a piece onto the bottom of it. And uh, when you're doing this part of it, I need you to think in three-dimensional terms as though you're a sculptor, and uh, possibly even think about using Play-Doh or, um, or plasticine or clay, and how you would take that and put it into your hand and roll it into a ball so you've got this solid three-dimensional ball and then you take another piece of plasticine and add it onto the bottom edge of it and then roll that and, and start to shape it into a shape. So if we took and rolled a piece of plasticine into a cylinder and then attached it to the bottom of the ball and then hooked it over like this, we'd end up with something that looks a little bit like this. There's our little shape and then we'll flatten off the bottom of one. I'm just going to put a little ellipse on here. And so we've got our basic shape for our cartoon character's head. It's like an upside down teardrop. Now what we need to do is we need to define the angle of the character's head. And to do that, we add our elliptical line on here, which is going to be our eye line. So you can see I'm drawing it lightly on the one side and heavier on this, this other side. And so we're looking up at the underside of this, which means the character's head is tilted up and away to us in actually this direction here. And so we want to create that sense that the character is sort of looking down, maybe aloof, on another character. And I'm going to try and draw my center line down here. So we've got more of this edge of the, the character's face. The edge of the character's face on the one side is showing more than on the opposite side. We'd see very little of it over here. So this is the next stage. I want you to take and I want you to draw a series of, of head shapes and just play around with them. Just try different formulas to see what you can do. I, I like to think of this as like a flip-flop type book where you can take and you can add on different things onto the, the basic spherical shape here to create any number of different types of head shapes. There's another head shape there. If I take and, and take my spear that I've got here and I change the format of that and I just squish it down as though it was a balloon, I can make it into an oval like this and then I can take something similar to that but just maybe change the direction of it so the character is looking over in this way here and maybe make it just a little bit thinner so it's something more like that and that again would alter the visual look of my character. So try a whole series of these types of things and, and see what you can come up with. Don't forget your eye line and your center line. This one here I'm going to tilt it down a little bit. And the neat thing about the eye line, once you've got your basic shape drawn like this, is you can put the eye line anywhere you want. You can put it here, you can put it down here, you can put it in the middle. It's totally up to you. And this is what helps to define what the character looks like. If I put the eye line way down here, well that would completely change the look of the character because their eyes would be situated down here and they'd have this huge knob on the top of their heads as opposed to if I had the eye line up here with the eyes in this position that would give the character a larger jaw down in the bottom. So play around with the different shapes and see what you can come up with. Draw the cross contour on and even try putting the cross contour in a slightly different position each time. So with this one here I'll put the eye line across here on the spherical shape. I'm going to draw the center line a little bit more in here to rotate the character's face more towards us. What we try and do in, in animation is we try and avoid the straight on front view because it, it appears very flat. The same thing is true for the straight on side view. It appears very flat too. So if you just alter your character by just adding a little bit of dimension to them, it makes the character come alive a little bit more and seem a little bit more three-dimensional. So this is the next stage once we add on the neck shape. Uh, which is basically attached to the back of the cranial mass there, we can add that piece in and make our characters uh, or define what our characters are looking like.